So we'll be patrolling in DG-65. I believe that's uh, about halfway through the Atlantic. Uh, this is the 10th patrol. I think we're in uh, Lorient at the submarine pens. I'm not really going to do much talking in this uh, video. Just going to kind of play along. Uh, I'll probably cut out a lot of the a lot of the patrol, so you'll just see the interesting parts. <clears throat> I think this is going to be like my second patrol out of Lorient, so it should be pretty interesting. Once it loads, you can see it's load, taking a lot of load here. But I'll get back to you when it loads. So here we've loaded. <clears throat> and Lorient, this is uh, my executive officer. And you can see the bands up there playing us off. So, so you can see the ship is looking here. So we'll go ahead and get started. Aircraft spot, bearing 270, yes, long range, head slow. It's going to be a little rough out there today. Leaving ports, um, going to DG 65, which can be found um, down here, just south of uh, Ponta de la Gata. What did we say it was? 60, 65? Why the hell would they send me way down there? Anyway, so we'll make a mark there. And we're going to patrol the easternmost part of the that area first thing we need to do uh, one get out of port After L'Oreal. My, uh, series of Lots here. We'll avoid the main channel, that way we don't run into anybody. I'll take us into this is called the inner roads, outer roads, and the harbor. So, to the outer road. And we're going to kind of bear south since the British are being pesky with their airplanes. And we're going to try to make just a <coughs> this close. So we can blue our ports that we can uh, I think is where we can resupply and stuff so so you can see it's 3200 uh, kilometers so it'll be a while I'll be back to you once we find anything interesting okay guys <clears throat> I told you I'd be back if we found something interesting and uh, we just happened to have found something interesting. Show you what um, the contact I'm working here. We're gonna move some of our guys up here in the damage control room because action is imminent. Show you what we have. Uh, we have a convoy of ships. You can see how they're lined up. They're gonna pass maybe right there in front of us. So within about, I would say within about 3,000 meters of where we are. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe 5,000 meters, which is right at the edge of where we want it to be. We're yes, actually going to try to work a little bit closer to where that's I think slow. they're going to be. Speed it up a little bit. I think that's close enough. And they just changed directions. So I wonder if they detected me. No, don't change directions, guys. They did. So, if 
But that's okay, because I think they're still going to be within range. Um, maybe they saw my periscope. It's foggy, so I don't know if we're actually going to be able to see them or not. But we will try to yes, sir. make an attack anyway. New depth. One, two meters. If, albeit, maybe blind when I do it. Yeah, so let's, the closest contact should be at about, maybe, Zero nine zero. Yeah. Okay. I suck at trigonometry. They actually. If they change directions again, they're going to come straight for me. Well, we're going to cheat a little bit and see what's up there. It's a little rough. Let's see what's up here. I see nothing up here, so we'll get the sonar man to give us the There's contact. Warship slow zero five eight. It's about there, let's see if there's anything there. Nope. Still too far out. We'll speed it up a little bit. If they change directions again, they will come right for us. Shoot. Flower class Corvette. Zero six seven. Flower class. Oh shit, he's coming straight for me. Yes, sir. New depth two five meters. Uh, this is not a good attack. I'll see you guys if I find another target. Alright guys, I've decided to go ahead and make an assault uh, on this. There's a large merchant up here that's at about 9,500 9, yards. So, that's going to be a Type 1 torpedo, slow speed. Make sure, yep, 2 and 3. And we're going to... Just fire and dive and hopefully we'll make a hit. So we're going to set it for mag magnetic pistols on both. And we're going to set the depth for right at 9 meters. This will get it to explode right underneath the keel. Okay. 
and let's see what we can't do. Uh, set it to where we can fire instantaneously. There she is, 9,200 yards off. So we will keep with it. I don't believe there's anything closer. That's close enough to fire now. Flower class at 3,500 yards. And he is going to be pieced. Fiji, another Fiji class. At 10,000 yards. Shit, we gotta reload. We gotta take that shot. I think uh, these only have a range of about 5,000. So we're going to reload uh, quickly, very, very quickly here, and take a couple of shots at that Fiji class, because we have to. That's you, you don't not take that shot. Two, three, ready, sir. Okay, he's going to be a little bit further away. There he is. Two, three. These are actually going to go impact because we want to hit that thing. So, uh, go up here. Let's see if they hit. Okay, our first torpedo should hit. Those two will hit first. So we're going to listen, or look, and see if we see an explosion. <laughs> Which they're probably not going to hit. But we had to take the shot, so. Do we get a hit? Doesn't look like. Yes, we got an impact. Okay, we got two hits. Next one is going to be in about four minutes. And we need to go deep because our ass is about to get fried. Yes, sir. New course. Jog south.
Let's see if we get another impact. So we got the we got the large merchant that's ten thousand tons. I don't think we're gonna get this. Torpedo impact. Maybe we do. Holy smokes. Torpedo impact. Okay. Too bad we don't get to see it. Did we hit it? We hit it. We hit it. <laughs> we hit the Fiji class for 10,000 tons. That's 20,000 tons with four torpedoes expended. This patrol is off to a great start. Okay, I just went back and watched that uh, the video of that attack and the initial assault on the large merchant you can actually see the explosions in the bottom right hand side like here on the the uh, periscope so cool um, I probably need to explain what a Fiji class is so let's go over here to our target book to the British this is British Empire uh, ships a Fiji class cruiser is a light cruiser that that was that the Royal Navy used and it's it's pretty it, they were made in the 1940s and uh, they're okay I guess they're they're all right ships um, but they're dangerous like these guns and what made it important for me to attack that today was that the last two patrols I've had a chance to take a shot at uh, Fiji class cruisers and both times I've fired I mean I've expended like 12 torpedoes in one attack on a Fiji class and it never hit and I was using type 1 torpedoes so they saw the steam bubbles coming up followed them back to me and I've ended up having to dodge a destroyer for about three hours so um, that's like three hours of your life you can't have back but I survived so I really wanted to get that kill, and uh, I did. So that was the importance of the PG class. Now we're heading back to our patrol zone. I will catch up with you if we find anything interesting <laughs> before we get there, or once we get there. Uh, I'm going to get there, be in the area for 24 hours down here, and then what I'll probably do is jog back up here towards Gibraltar and see if we can't get anything coming out of Gibraltar. So stay tuned.